of two lost ears trying to find their place in the world. So, here we go! Hey, listen up! Uh -huh. What was that? My ear was ringing. Wanna play? Shoot! No, shoot with the first clue! Okay, what is this sound? Keep telling you, it's a bull. Next clue. What is this? Uh, Grandma doing backflips? Front flips? No, it's a lasso. Bull? No, really, it's a lasso. Next clue. What is this? <laughs> oh boy, a really bad first date? An aerobics class? Come on, use your brain. I'm an ear. I don't have a brain. Here. One more time. I know, I know. It's a man falling off a horse. Congrats. So, where would you hear a... Followed by a... And a... Where are we? We're on the TV. No, the rodeo. The radio? No, the rodeo. Okay, I got one for you. What's this? Again? I give up. That's a cowboy putting on tight jeans at the rodeo. Oh, so that's why they walk so funny. That concludes today's episode of Here We Are. And we are out of air. party where the dead can party like it's 1999 and 1899 and 1790. Well, you get the idea. Anyway, at tonight's affair, we're honored to have a mysterious guest who almost cheated death. The key word being almost. We got him in the end, and we always do. <laughs> See if you can guess his identity. Sorry, sir. The door was locked. Uh, won't you please come in? That's strange. Getting into things has never been the problem. It's getting out of things that's the real trick. Uh, may I take your jacket, sir? <laughs> you can try. <laughs> I, I can't get it off. Y your tailor must be a madman. Funny you should say that, because it's virtually impossible to escape from with its many buckles and straps, making it ideal for insane asylums. Ta-da! I'm out of the straight jacket. That's very clever, sir. Uh, may I get you anything? Yes. 
How about a water chamber that I can seal and then escape from? Mm -hmm. Sorry, sir. I think we're all out of those. What about a trunk? I bet you have a trunk around here. You can put me inside and I'll mystify you with my miraculous escape. And look, sir, I'm pretty busy. I have a cold cut platter in the back and it isn't getting any younger. Well, okay. By the way, I don't think I caught your name. Oh, sure. I'm... Wait! Before you reveal your identity, let's give our viewers a chance to guess. He's a master magician who excelled at very difficult escapes, such as handcuffs, straight jackets, sealed water chambers. That's right. I'm Harry Houdini, amazing escape artist and fantastic illusionist. Stick around, big guy. I'm gonna make a 10,000 pound elephant disappear. You can be my assistant. Over your dead body. <laughs> Next time at the spooky haunted house party. Walla Washington Zoo. This week we're going to. <laughs> Eddie Bull, he's got the bull. He really is incredible. He's simply the best of the bunch. There's simply no disguising. But he's so appetizing that we want him for a lunch. <laughs> You'd think I'd learn to move when they ring that dinner bell. Sheesh! Can you help me figure out which animal just swallowed me without chewing? <laughs> Here's the first clue. This animal works the night shift and is rarely seen during the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Their fur was once popular for making hats and coats. Yuck! That's not right. They got webbed hind feet, which helped them swim. Boy, I sure could use a couple of those around the pool. <laughs> Whoa! And here's the last clue. Their sharp front teeth and big flat tail makes this animal the best damn builder around. <laughs> That's damn. D-A-M. Have you got it yet? It's the beaver! <laughs> That's it! The beaver! <laughs> <laughs> the beaver! Uh -huh. The beaver works at night. Their thick fur looks a lot better on them than it does on people. Their webbed hind feet help them swim, and they use their front teeth and flat tails to help them build dams. Ooh, smart little critters. <laughs> no, hope I don't hit those big front teeth on the way back out. And he moves, he's got the bull. He really is incredible. Can we want him for a lunch? <laughs> <laughs> it's time to play 10 seconds where you've got to read between the lines and think up the answers before time runs out. So now you know how to play, you're on your own. You got 10 seconds. Ready to go on vacation? Cause it's spring break! <laughs> Next one. Feeling claustrophobic? Well, I am. The answer is boxed in. What's next? Did you get it? It's life on Mars. You got 10 more seconds to get the next one. Oh, 
dear! London Bridge is falling down! <laughs> hey! Well, that's it for now, so keep your feet on the ground and your head in the clouds until it's once more time to play 10 seconds! <laughs> dark and mysterious recesses of parts unknown, there resides the strange and riddle-wise creature known only as the Riddle Snake. His music is enchanting, and his riddles are perplexing. So look close, and think even closer. The riddle is, where was King Solomon's temple? Where was King Solomon's temple? his forehead. <laughs> and as the wise man once said, foreheads are better than 